The time has come to level up. We are back on Jetpunk, and um, I don't know about you guys, but I love to see all the subdivisions in one place like this, especially coming from Oceania, which, as interesting as it is, like this is just a proper, I like me a good landmass, okay? And this is a solid landmass. Everything's contained, you can see it all at once, kind of looks like a jigsaw puzzle, which, um... That'd be actually a great idea for a quiz, wouldn't it? Just to have... Is that doable? I'd love a quiz like that. But I suspect it's a little bit niche for anyone to actually make one. It must be a lot of effort. But anyway, just a couple of things before I start. First of all, Vicky is a legend. She is the quiz maker behind the subdivision quizzes. Um, so absolute massive shout out to Vicky making these things possible at all. And also... This has been enjoyable to learn these subdivisions because, you know, most of the countries have Spanish as an official language. Spanish is not completely alien to me. It's easy to find resources about the Spanish language. And then you've got Portuguese spoken by over 200 million people in Brazil. So it's not like scrambling to find something on the Palawan language coming up short. Um, so hopefully I won't butcher the pronunciations quite as badly, even though I'm sure I'll find a way to do that in some you know to some extent uh so yeah let's get going and and we'll see what happens uh, i'm just gonna zoom in a bit i think this is reasonable yeah let's go i'm excited right so we can start with uh let's do colombia so we've got san andres y providencia um we have la guajira Magdalena, Cesar, Norte de Santander, Santander, uh, no affiliation with the bank. Um, we've got Atlantico, you can probably guess why it's named Atlantico. We've got Bolivar, um, oh yeah, <laughs> Bolivar also exists in uh, Venezuela and Ecuador, as you can see. Then we've got Sucre, by the way, when I pronounce Spanish names, I have this strange tendency to put on a different voice and start gesturing like this. So I might do that without noticing. Um, yes. Cordoba. Antioquia. We have Choco. Valle del Cauca. Cauca. Mm, Nariño. Putumayo. Caqueta. I also struggle a bit with uh, typing while talking, but it is what it is. Valpes. And one that this one has uh, equivalents in many other countries. It's called Amazonas. It also exists in Brazil, Peru, and Venezuela, I believe. Yes. And obviously named after the <laughs> famous rainforest. Okay. Guaviare, Guainia. Uh, Meta, Vichada, Huila, Tolima, Caldas, Risaralda, Quindío, Cundinamarca, um, Distrito Capital, Casanare, Arauca, Boyacá. Um, oh yeah, that was Colombia. Um, yeah, let's do the top countries now. Venezuela is next. I've heard that the Ven that Venezuelan Spanish is like considered particularly it's like neutral and pure, so it's easy to understand compared to some of the varieties we'll encounter. We've got Falcon, Lara, Zulia. Um, then we've got uh, let's do Tashira, Merida. Mm. Oh yeah, Trujillo. 
apurre barinas portuguesa, cogedes, cuarico, yaracuy, carabobo, aragua, miranda. Then we've got, um, this used to be called Vargas, which is what this quiz still accepts, but I think it's called La Guaira now. But we'll type in Vargas. Then we've got those little scattered dots, the federal dependencies. And then we have Nueva Esparta. I also don't really, uh, can't remember when to use the lisp. Like, the, is it just a mainland Spanish thing? Man, there's so many different varieties that I can't keep track of them. Anzo Artegui, Monagas, Delta Amacuro, and that was Venezuela. Now we come to the like obscure South American ones. We've got Guyana. The official language is English, but there's plenty of indigenous languages which are recognized. But the names of these regions are very much not English. I suspect they, um, they're pretty much all named after rivers, by the way, but they do not sound very English. So should I pronounce these Englishly? No, probably not. I do not know any Guianan indigenous languages. So in order to offend everyone equally, I think I'm going to pronounce these with a very heavy or thick Swedish accent. So we have Barima Waini. And by the way, these have been scrambled somehow in this quiz. So unfortunately, they're in the wrong order. So I'm going to do them from left to right, top to bottom, uh, and they're going to pop up in the wrong positions. But that's just for Guiana. Then we have Pomeroon Supernam. Then we have Essequibo Islands West Demerara. Mahaika Berbise. We have... Um, uh, Ma yes, oh yeah, forgot about Demerara Mahaika. Oh, I already did that one. East Berbice Quarantine. Uh, then we've got Kuyuni Masaruni. Potaro Siparuni. We've got Upper Demerara Mahaika. And um, then we have Potaro Siparuni. I can't even keep track of these. Upper uh, Takutu, Upper Essequibo. Cool. Uh, then we come to Suriname, and I think some of these have some Dutch pronunciations, which I'm going to struggle with, but let's do it anyway. Uh, Nikari, Corny, Saramaka, Wanika, Paramaribo. Oh yeah, it took Para because that's one of the names, and there's a big Para in Brazil. But then we have the capital, Paramaribo. Uh, we've got Comerine, Marovine, and Brocopondo, and Sipaliwini, which is, as you can see, a fairly big region and also pretty much all wilderness. I think Suriname is one of the countries with the biggest percentage of just <laughs> pure wilderness. Like, it's so sparsely populated. It's quite cool. Uh, then we have France with French Guiana. Okay, I think I'm going to have to speed up a little. Also, I'm getting out of breath because I talk too much. I always talk too much. Uh, let's jump to Ecuador. We start with Galapagos. Galapagos. Don't always have to lisp. Hmm. We have Esmeraldas. I, I heard someone pronounce it Esmeraldas. I don't know if that's correct or if it should be Esmeraldas. Then we have Manaví, Santa Elena, and Guayas. By the way, in Argentinian, Argentinian Spanish, some sounds are quite different, like the double L. And in this particular instant, Guayas is pronounced Guayas. So unfortunately, I came across one of the an Argentinian pronouncing this the first time I learned it, and... Um, was quite surprised. Then we have uh, Los Rios, uh, Santo Domingo de los Chachilas. Santo Domingo is uh, enough, according to Jack Punk. Carchi, Mbabura, Pichincha. Oh yeah, and two more that have been switched, but I think these. this is the last mistake of this quiz. 
We have Napo, which is actually the bigger one to the southwest, and Dungu Rawa, which is the one that just uh, lit up previously. We've got Cotopaxi, Shimborazo, Canyar, Azuay, El Oro, Loja, Zamora, Chinchipe, Morona, Santiago, Pastaza, Orellana, and Sucumbios. Right, we come to the very mountainous, mountainous country that is Peru. And um, I always forget just how big Peru is. Like, it's dwarfed by Brazil, obviously. But uh, I think Brazil is the fifth biggest country. But Peru is actually the 19th biggest. I think it was, what was it? 1,285,000 square kilometers. It's just, it's huge. Anyway, let's um, get on with it before I actually run out of time. We have the huge region of Loreto, we have um, Tumbes, Piura, Lambayeque, um, Cajamarca, La Libertad, Ancash, San Martín, Huánuco, Pasco, Junín. Then we have Lima and Lima Province, both are going to light up when I type in Lima. And then we have Callao, Ucayali. Ica, Huanca Velica, uh, Ayacucho, or Ashacucho, I think an Argentinian would say. Uh, we've got Arequipa, um, Moquegua, Tacna, Puno, Apurimac, Cusco, and then Madre de Dios. Sweet. We move on to Bolivia, where we've got Pando, La Paz, Beni, Oruro, Potosí, Cochabamba. We've got um, Tarija, Chuquisaca, and Santa Cruz, which is going to light up uh, something in Argentina as well. Yeah, down south. Well, let's do um, Chile. It's going to take a few... Uh, going to have to zoom in and out a couple of times just because the country is so very long. We've got Región Arica y Parinacota. Tarapaca. Antofagasta. Atacama. Very familiar name to those familiar with the desert. Coquimbo. Okay, zoom out. Zoom in. Valparaíso. Uh, then we have Región Metropolitana de Santiago, also known as uh, Santiago. Uh, we have, I think, um, oh yeah, O'Higgins, and then Maule, Ñuble, we have Bio Bio, Araucanía. By the way, the B in Spanish is interesting to me. It's like somewhere between a V and a B. So I don't quite pronounce it as V, and I don't quite pronounce it as B, and I find it hard to strike the right balance, like bio bio, bio bio, bio bio. Don't know. We have Los Lagos, we have Aysén, we have Magallanes, uh, the very southernmost region there, and we jump to the quite related Tierra del Fuego in on the Argentinian side. And Tierra del Fuego is actually uh, the name of this very southern archipelago down here. Uh, Chile has the southernmost part of this archipelago. You've got Cape Horn. Uh, but then you've got the... Oh, I can't remember the name of the island group now, but there's uh, some uh, islands that are even more southern down there, which is considered the southernmost point of uh, South America. Hello, little kitty. Right, then we've got the controversial Falkland Islands, you know, very much talked about during the 1982 Falklands War. We have Chubut, uh, Rio Negro is going to light up uh, part in Uruguay. Oh, well, Rio de Janeiro is also a Brazilian state. We have Rio Negro. Um, Buenos Aires, La Pampa. Neuquén, Mendoza, San Luis, San Juan, 
La Rioja. La Rioja is also a name of a uh, autonomous community of Spain. Catamarca, Tucumán, Salta, Jujuy, Santa Fe, uh, Entre Ríos, Corrientes, Chaco, Formosa, Misiones, which is also going to light up a southern part of Uruguay, no, Paraguay. There we go. Let's jump to um, Uruguay. Interestingly, many of these are named after famous people. We have Artigas, which is named after, I uh, can't remember his full name now, but I think a guy who's considered like the father of Uruguayan uh, nationhood or statehood. Then we've got Salto by Sandu. Then we've got the Rio Negro. Then we have Soriano, Colonia, uh, Rivera, Tacuarembo, Durazno, Flores, and Florida. Like Florida in the US. Actually, many US state names can be found in quite unexpected parts of the world. We'll come to that in future episodes. Mm, we've got San Jose. We have um, Canelones and the capital Montevideo. Then we have La Valleja, also a famous person. Um, we have Treinta y Tres. And these two are very related. Treinta y Tres is uh, named after the 33 Orientals, which was a revolutionary group back in the day, led by La Valleja, who we saw there. Juan Antonio La Valleja. He was responsible for like an insurrection, or he led an insurrection, I believe. Anyway, it's interesting how you can glean historical facts from these place names. So it's actually not quite as useless uh, an activity as one might think. At least so that's how I rationalize uh, cramming a bunch of names into my head. Cerro Largo, we have Maldonado, which to me sounds like a Spanish McDonald's. Roja. Okay, that's it for Uruguay. We've got Paraguay, uh, which has another official language, Guarani, which is spoken by the majority of the population. Alto Paraguay. We have Boquerón, Presidente Hayes. It's a funny name, and it, indeed it is named after a uh, former US president, uh, Rutherford B. Hayes. I think he settled a border dispute between Paraguay and Argentina and awarded this region to Paraguay. Then we have um, Concepcion. Sion? Fion? Like I said, I don't really know. Amambay, Canindeyu, San Pedro, Cordillera, Central, um, Paraguari, Nembuku. We have Caguazu, Guaira. Kazapa, Itapua, Alto Parana. That one's easy to remember because Alto means like above, I suppose, and it's sitting right next to Brazilian Parana. So Alto Parana makes perfect sense. That's why it's nice to see all the subdivisions together like this instead of individual countries because you can see the context and it makes it really easy to remember that it's Alto Parana because it's right next to another Parana. But yeah. We actually have some time left, um, <laughs> but I'm still going to try to, let's try to speed run Brazil. And these pronunciations are kind of tricky, but I'm going to try to get them right. Start from the top. Horaima, Amapá, Acre, Rondonia, Mato Grosso do Sul. No, Mato Grosso and then Mato Grosso do Sul. Um, Rio, oh, Rio Grande do Sul. Santa uh, Catarina, uh, Paraná, São Paulo, Minas Gerais, Espírito Santo, uh, Bahia, Goiás, Distrito Federal, Tocantins, Maranhão, Piauí, Ceará. Um, Rio Grande do Norte, <laughs> Paraíba, Pernambuco, Alagoas, 
and then last one last one yeah se okay sejip sejip they are sergip ah. we did it so that was south america very pleasant continent to do let's see some stats 6.7% of test takers also got 100%. That's, uh, yeah, Jetpunk is a site for nerds, but we're still in the a big minority here. I think this number is going to decrease as we move on to the, like, um, well, the big ones, like Africa and uh, Asia. Uh, yeah. Right, that was that. And um, I've learned a lot about Spanish accents, even though I still can't pronounce them. Um, I find this stuff really interesting, actually. And uh, next week, we're going to do North America, which also has a bunch of Spanish-speaking countries, but then you also have the giants of, you know, the US, and you have a bunch of Caribbean countries, which is also interesting. And that's going to be 383 divisions, which is a step up again, but still quite manageable. We're still in the triple digits. We're not quite up to the quadruple digits, which um, which are coming, but all in good time. Um, so if you've uh, watched this far, I really appreciate it. And if you want to be notified of when the next video pops up, you know what to do. There's um, functionality to, to make that happen. And um, yeah, until then, have a good one. Bye.